Hello and welcome to the Book Bunch. My name is Sam. It is so great to have you guys here for another video. Today I have actually been tagged in a couple of things. So we're going to do a tag video. Um, one is the Rip It or Ship It book tag by The Writing a Songbird. She got it from somebody else. And then there's the Favourites book tag and I was tagged by Celestria. And The Writing a Songbird actually <laughs> made that tag. So they're the two ones that we are going to do today. I will leave everyone's links and everything in the description box below if you're interested in checking out their channels they are pretty great girls so i do recommend it <laughs> if you guys like my content you might like theirs but first we're going to do the rip it or ship it book tag because it seems like a bit of fun so i've got two cups here they one cup has boys names one cup has girls names i put names in that either they didn't end up with a romance in the books that they are in or at least the books I read that they are in or they did end up with a romance but I think they could do better <laughs> so that is what we're going to do and basically I'll pick a boy and a girl tell you who they are and then decide whether I think I ship them as a couple and they'd be good or if I want to rip it up and never think about it again so oh throwing things everywhere the first boy's name is Renarin from Stormlight. Ooh, with Jane Eyre. Okay, so Renarin from Stormlight. He is a prince. Um, he is a bit shy and awkward, but he's very book smart. Not very muscle, like muscle toned or anything because he had a bit of a sickness. Um, but really nice, really nice guy. And I feel like he would treat any girl right. And yeah, he's really nice and soft-spoken. And Jane Eyre, I mean, she is a little bit more, like, strong-willed. But I don't think that would be a bad thing for her to be with Renarin. Because I feel like she would balance out his, like, self-doubt. And Jane Eyre could definitely do better. Um, considering the guy she ended up with, but yeah, I ship it. I think I ship that one. <laughs> okay. Then there is, they're all stuck together. Ooh, this one is actually a good one. Okay. So Sir Yu from Six Crimson Cranes, who is actually a dragon and he is a dragon prince. And then Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, who, as you guys know, is a fairy. I think that would be such an interesting dynamic. And they're both magical creatures. And they can both fly. Hmm. And Tinkerbell has a very similar personality to the girl that So You liked but didn't end up with in Six Crimson Cranes. Because he likes the strong headed but would like argue with him kind of thing um i don't know i think i'm gonna say ship it but it would obviously have to depend on where that went for sure okay we have kelsia from mistborn and donna teller dragga from caravel Hmm. I think Kelsia would like Donatella because <laughs> she is a bit of a ladies man um hmm. I mean yeah he's a ladies man and she is very much so a man's kind of woman um But I've only read the first Caravelle, so I don't know much about Donatella after that. So I don't know how much her character would develop. So based on the limited knowledge I have, I would say it's a ship. I could see them working out. Or at least it being like a, like a very steamy romance, whether it would last. I don't know if it, it, would, it would stand the test of time, but I would ship them to just see how it goes. <laughs> There's been no rip it so far, so that's been interesting. 
Okay, Kaladin from Stormlight or jo with Joe March from Little Women. Ooh, he would like Joe because Joe would put up a fight. And again, also Joe's in here because I don't like who she who she ended up with in Little Women. So yes, I know that's unpopular. Sue me. Um, but Kaladin likes would like a strong woman and someone with brown eyes and Joe has brown eyes because of the whole light eyes, dark eyes thing in Stormlight. But would Joe like Kaladin? Hmm. I don't know if Joe would like Kaladin. That's all. So it might. I kind of want to see it though. I kind of want to. See... Okay, it's another ship. I'm sorry, guys. This is no fun because everything's me shipping it. But the only reason I'd rip that is if Joe didn't like Kaladin, obviously. But I'd be willing to see it as a try. Okay, we have. Aaron from the Emberblade and Marilla Cuthbert from Anna Green Gables. That is a rip. That is a rip. That would be creepy. Marilla's like a much older lady and Arwen's like a 16 year old boy. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, so first rip it. Cool. And that's, yeah, even their personalities, even if like Marilla was younger or he was older, I can't see that happening. Okay. This is going to be another rip. The Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland and Jasna from Stormlight. That would be a disaster of a relationship. That would not work at all. They are, no. Because the Mad Hatter is like the Mad Hatter, obviously. He's like crazy and loopy, but in a good way. Whereas like Jasna is like super serious and like, mm -mm, that would not work. Rip it. I wouldn't have mind seeing her with like one of the other guys in here though, but that's okay. It is luck of the draw. Okay. Frodo from The Lord of the Rings and Violet Baudelaire from A Series of Unfortunate Events. I mean, they're around the same age. Probably, most likely. I don't quite know how hobbits age. But I think they'd be similar. Because he's, like, meant to be a young hobbit. And she's, like, 18, 17, I think, in the book. Because, yeah, she's almost of legal age to marry the Count. Um, I don't know if their personalities would go. Hmm. I mean... They've both experienced trauma. <laughs> um, and they both are, both are definitely haunted. At least if you take the Frodo from the end of Lord of the Rings. Hmm. I'm going to say ship it just because I'd be interested to see what it would be like, but I don't know if it would actually be any good. Okay. Something's beeping and I don't know what it is. Okay, then we have... Susan from Narnia. Somehow I ended up with one extra girl than boy. But I thought I had more boys than girls. That's funny. <laughs> um, so Susan from Narnia. Or Oscar and Ratip from Blink the Saga. I'm going to say rip it. Because there is a big age difference. And I don't think they'd get along personality wise. But Oscar I feel like would have been good for Marilla. Which is why he was in there. Because they're also both older. And then the one I didn't. Um, have a match for was Eowyn from Lord of the Rings as well. I feel like, yeah, that could have been some interesting choices. So, <laughs> that was the Rip It and Ship It tag. Thank you so much for the writing songbird for tagging me in that one. It was kind of fun. I really struggled to think of names, but other than that, it was good. Okay, so I am going to tag the Rip It or Ship It tag. Miriam from <laughs> from Miriam Elizabeth Reads because I feel like she would have a lot of characters that she'd enjoy shipping. Um, and I'm going to say Amanda from Book Lover Amanda because you love your romance. So I feel like that would be fun. 
Okay, and then there is the favorites book tag, which again, I said Celestria tagged me in that one, so thank you, Celestria. And the there's just some few, a few questions about my favorite books. So it says, what do you say is your favorite book and why? And I'm going to join that with the second one because the second question is, what is actually your favorite book? And I say what my actual favorite book is, so it's the same. But my favorite books at the moment are tied between the Wing Feather Saga and the Children of the Consortium series. I love them both, but they're both completely different genres. One's fantasy and one's sci-fi, and they're very, very different. So I can't... I feel like if I absolutely, like, like could only have one book for the rest of my life, it would be a recorder. But... Yes, only just. It has only just overtaken Wing Feather Saga, I think. And why? It's because the <laughs> book is just flawless uh, and it is everything I want out of a sci-fi. Um, it is about this girl who is like a, she's like partly modified and she's been like raised by essentially robots and like people who are like her so she's basically been brainwashed or conditioned to act a certain way and think a certain way and talk a certain way and it's very robotic like very very robotic and she's meant to have no feelings and be very bi uh, very um neutral to people and not have any bias and she her whole job is to record all the normal people um, and it's super interesting because it, like, it's super interesting. I'm not going to say more because I have done a whole video or two on that, so go check it out. Uh, and what, what is your favourite series and why? I mean, same again, but if I had to pick a different series that weren't the two that I mentioned, I would pick the... Oh, what is the series name called? I can't remember, but the books are um, Oathbound and The Silver Bounty. I think it's called The Royal Rose Chronicles. And it's a pirate story and I like series and I'm loving that and I cannot wait for book three. I need it to end well. It is so good. Anyway, and then there is what is your favorite genre and why my favorite genre is Probably sci-fi, if I really had to pick. Very closely followed by fantasy. Even though fantasy has a lot more options for me that I seem to enjoy. I, like, if I could just pick stellar sci-fi books, I would pick sci-fi <laughs> over stellar fantasy. I just love that concept of, like, robots or space or zombies or technology. I just love that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's fascinating to me, but that is why just the fascination. Who is your favorite character and why? My favorite character of all time, apart from recorder, cause I think she's probably crept her way up there is Vin from Mistborn. Um, love her. Just love her, love her character development, love her attitude. <laughs> I, yeah, I really enjoy her. Um, she's a lot of fun. What is your favourite book movie adaptation and why? My favourite book movie, book to movie adaptation. Hmm, sorry, I keep rubbing my face. Um, is, that one's actually a bit hard because the Studio Ghibli adaptations, because a lot of those were originally books, are amazing because it's Studio Ghibli and I freaking love Studio Ghibli. But if we're talking like, because like that is more famous for being movies than books, but if we're talking about books that like were super famous before becoming a movie adaptation or a TV show adaptation, I'd say Anna Green Gables because the um, 
which is weird because now that I've read the whole series, I can see that the 80s movies um, aren't, like the trilogy, actually doesn't follow the same storyline as the books, but the way that they, I mean, the first movie spot on to the first book, but the other two aren't. But the way they have captured Anne and Gilbert and Diana and Marilla and all of their, like, the characters are so perfect that I just enjoy it. Like, even though the storyline is different, the characters are true to themselves and exactly how I imagine them. So that is why I picked that. What is your favorite quote from a book and why? My favorite quote from a book, I don't know that I specifically have one if I'm being really honest. Like, if you were to ask me to quote a book right now, or a section of a book right now, I would not be able to. <laughs> I do not remember things. And there's a lot of non-fiction books, especially Christian non-fiction books, that, like, are, have amazing quotes from them. But I just can't remember. My memory is so poor for details. Like, ridiculously poor for details. And, but, if I'm thinking about the top of my head, the funniest quote I can think of from a book is the uh, prologue of the Wing Feather Saga. Andrew Peterson, the way he's written that, it's like really funny. And there's a line in there that's like, um, the, the, um, everyone when they showed up the of the world kept saying, here we are. So over the years, it, like with the whole Chinese whispers kind of situation, um, the planet, like the, the land became known as here we are. And I found that really funny. And then there was another section in there about, um, nag the nameless. And I just think that is perfect because he can't be nameless if his name is nag. And I just, yeah, I just find that hilarious. But the, that prologue is so funny. Um, I can't remember it word for word though. See, I can't remember any of that. <laughs> so I'm no help there. Sorry. What is your favorite book cover that I have? That is really hard. That is super hard to answer. So I got some stellar book covers. I showed you guys my um, Anna Green Gables, my special edition before and everyone really liked that. And my Little Women is quite nice too. But I don't know. There's so many good covers. Hmm. Hmm. One day when I have my whole collection I'm, and it's actually out and not in storage, I'm going to go through and do a video on all my favorite book covers. But I think my favorite one off the top of my head is probably... Mm, probably the six crimson cranes cover that I have because it like the colors even though I don't like pink the the way the colors work off each other on that and just like the whole thing as a whole is just stunning I love it um I love it so that's probably my prettiest one I don't know if it's my favorite but it's definitely my prettiest what is your favorite trope I don't know if I have trope favorites because I don't really <laughs> spend the time identifying them. Um, hmm. Because tropes are like enemies to lovers and there's a, hmm, like stereotypes, I guess, are what tropes are. One of my favorite stereotypes. I like it when there isn't a love triangle. I don't know if that counts as a trope. But if I'm going to have romance in a book, I can't have there be a competition because, like, I mean, the only exception to that is if they still end up with who I want. But the risk of that is so high that I just don't <laughs> enjoy it. Um, I also do kind of like it when... The, the guy is a little bit of a bad boy sometimes sometimes but not all the time what else I don't know what else considers tropes I like it needs to be a good verse evil 
Like, if there's going to be evil, good has to triumph. It Basically, I need happy endings. I don't know if that can, is considered a trope. I need to know more about my book theology. <laughs> but I, I, I have to have a happy ending. Because oh, the, ex the exception to the rule is the Mistborn ending for the original trilogy. Because that was gut-wrenching absolutely gut-wrenching but also ridiculously beautiful and perfect in every way that that's the only way I will accept a not like everyone's fine at the end and everyone's happy and in love like that's the only exception to the rule who is your favorite book couple Anne and Gilbert hands down I I would a hundred percent like I love my family I love my husband I love my life. I love the Lord. But if I, if I could, if I could marry Gilbert, I would marry Gilbert. Just hands down. <laughs> my husband knows this. Um, has he tried to uh, research Gilbert and find out more about him or do anything that Gil things that Gilbert does? Absolutely not. But... <laughs> And are they similar in any way? Absolutely not. But I love Gilbert and Anne. And I love Anne for Gilbert. Like, I just, they are perfect. And I love them. And their love is perfect. And apart from, like, the love of the Lord and, like, Jesus' love, because that is perfect, there is no other love that can bear. <laughs> that is my honest opinion. I just, that's how I feel. Um, yeah, and then who am I going to tag? I think I will tag Oshina because I would like to know what your favourites are. And who else will I tag? Hmm. I think I will tag Katie. I feel like I tag Katie and everything, but I'm going to tag Katie because, I, yeah, I'm really interested to know her favourites and her answers to some of these questions. I feel like I know some of the answers, but I'll be interested to see if things have changed since other videos and stuff. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Sam and I will see you guys in the next video. It'll probably not be for a week because uni is smashing me so hard. Um, I'm dying and have not had a chance to really read pretty much at all and I'm rapidly falling behind in my reading goal for the year but that's okay um yeah so probably not going to be till Saturday uh next week because I'm I am pretty sure I'll have to do weekly from now on at least till I go on holidays um which is only another like six weeks away <laughs> so um yeah It'll creep up on us faster than I'm prepared for. But I'll see you then and have a great week. Bye.